You always back the ride in in case the zombies are coming mm -hmm. up the hill. Mm -hmm. You got to get the shit out of Dodge. What's up, guys? It's Chuck from Brady Adventures, and we've had the front runner slimline two roof rack on Bernard the 100 Series Land Cruiser for about six months now and we absolutely love it. We haven't had any leaks or any significant issues. Everything's holding up really, really well. The only real problem we've had is some of the hardware, the nuts that actually hold the individual slats to the rails have been rusting up a little bit. I'm gonna ask Front Runner about that, but I'm also gonna go ahead and replace those with some stainless steel hardware. We love the fact that this rack has so many accessories that come straight from Front Runner. It also inspires us to do our own DIY mounts for the rack. The mounting system and the accessories allow you to get your gear on and off as quickly as possible and get to the things that you really wanna be doing. And you have to go off grid now. You can't just cruise around the city streets of Charlottesville looking for the zombies following you. <laughs> had everything from wood up there to our chairs and everything else so I mean, you can tie stuff to any roof rack but one of the really cool things is being able to move attachments around and build your own mounts pretty easily just using nuts and bolts. I'm going to put links to some of the hardware that we use on the rack in the description below. Keep an eye out for our next video because we're going to go through how we constructed some of our DIY mounts and some of the favorite hardware that we use. When you're looking at other racks that have similar mounting schemes as the front runner, make sure it's something that you can get your own hardware. Um, hardware direct from the companies can be priced pretty high and I know there's at least one rack where you have to buy the hardware from their company. It's not a standard bolt head that they use to mount to the slot. So one of the big things we love about the Slimline 2 roof rack is the fact that Alucab makes specific mounts for it for the shadow on. Um, and these mounts are really easy to get on and off so we occasionally pull it off and hang it here in the garage and that way we can still park the cruiser in here. That is ridiculous. <laughs> it fits! So the first question I get about the roof rack is, how much wind noise does it make? Was expecting to get a lot more than I got. You can hear a little bit more, but no whistling, no super loud noises or anything like that. I do get a little bit more wind noise when the wind is coming from the side, like on the interstate at higher speeds. And it's definitely more noisy when I have it loaded up with a lot of gear. Right now, I have some fake max tracks on the roof and they're right here above where I'm sitting. They added a little bit of noise. Uh, I'm not really sure how well this is gonna work to open up the sunroof and, and see what you can hear, but. So that wind noise, that's mostly from the max tracks. The wind deflector that goes side to side that you could see in the assembly video does a pretty good job of diverting the air to either side of the vehicle. I should probably stop and take these max tracks off and let you guys hear what it sounds like without them. All right, let's see what it sounds like without the max tracks up there. From a stop, here we go. it's a little bit cleaner about the same volume um, when I close the sunroof you really you really don't hear anything at all now it's pretty quiet when we're going about 50 miles an hour if you're going slow and you got the windows down you may hear a little bit but it's it's really not no whistling no irritating so there you go that's wind noise for you I'm sure you guys have lots of other questions Please leave those in the comments. We'd be happy to answer any of them. And thanks again for watching Brady Adventures.